Well, no, no, commiserations. Lots and lots of hard work. A couple of mistakes have cost you. Yeah, um, we were organized in the, in the first half. All the, the first half was defensively was good, was good. And uh, the way we block uh, Arsenal game, the way uh, and uh, the work of the players covering doubles up, all these things, always one body there. So on that aspect, very well. Was missing a little bit more of possession uh, in the first half. Um, I think we started the second half better on that aspect. Uh, we, we managed to, to start and, and go and attack. We had a, a couple of situations and we can see the goal in, the pre in that precisely moment that we are more, more in control of the game. Uh, disappointed because of the way we can see it uh, from a throw in and then from, a, from an offensive corner. So, but we reacted, we reacted. Uh, our fans once again pushed us in the final minutes. We, we, had, we had another, another chance on, on T. He's coming back, he's coming back. It uh, was good for us to have him in the pitch and scoring. Um, but um, disappointed, disappointed of the way we can see then we should have played more with the ball. Mm. Uh, it's, it's about those balances, isn't it? Because I, I suppose against Arsenal, you know they're going to have the ball for long spells. If you start to commit bodies forward, then you're in danger of leaving yourselves exposed at the other end, potentially. Yes, we knew that, but um, we didn't allow that. It's, we, no, no, no. If you look at the game and, and the way we can see that it's from a throw-in, we should have defended better. Uh, Nick Williams is on the ground, we should have cover inside, not allow Jesus to go and step in, in the box. Something not not very difficult because there were more difficult situations during the game that we were able to solve. And like I said, from a, from an offensive corner, we can see this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's a, a big, a big disappointing moment for the team and to go again. And the way they reacted was was is a positive. Is a positive. Uh, like I said, we should have done better, um, but the team was was competing well. You've played a lot of games, you've played a lot of minutes of football, as we've been talking about. You know, you haven't had many choices. A lot of players have played a lot of minutes. To be fair to them, when Arsenal went 2 0 up, they might have looked tired, but as you say, they still came back and, and had a go at Arsenal later on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, proud of that moment because uh, the atmosphere was good. We felt that uh, we could, we could uh, even go for, uh, for the draw on that, on that moment. We had a clear chance with T. Um, and this is the character of this boy, so we can be proud of that. I thought you might have had a potential shout for a penalty in added time as well, but VAR had a quick look and then said no. I think it would push on Harry Toffolo potentially. Oh, I, didn't, no. I, didn't, I didn't. I have to see the images, but uh, <laughs> if they check, I don't know. I have to see the images so I can I can speak better about that situation. But um, I'm more focused on the game, and I have to thank our fans. I think we should have done better to engage them more because they deserve a different, a different thing. Um, we were not able to do that, and that's what we're going to look at and improve for the for the next one. Now you touched on Tyrell one year. Obviously, he's got his goal on his on his return, but just from a point of view of having him back, Anthony Alanga back, Felipe on the bench as well, uh, that's that's a huge step in the right direction, isn't it? Yeah, but we know. Look, uh, it was not our idea to to play 45 minutes. Tyrell it's too soon. It was too soon for him. We have to check now how he is because. Uh, he's coming back from an from a injury, he only made two training sessions, but we had to make that sub because Chris was, uh, was not feeling well, so um, there's no, no, no other way to go. And uh, like I said, positive that we have him back, positive that he scores, gives us a good option, uh, positive that Anthony, Anthony came back and we are getting the pieces together to, so we go again. Um, happy so we have more options. Uh, your bench was interesting today in that it had two goalkeepers on it. Is that because of that's how many players you've got, senior players you've got, or was there a concern maybe about a potential injury? No, 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 no. It was, uh, as you know, I don't know if it's public, Scott McKenna went, went uh, yeah. um, to Copenhagen, I think. Was, this happened this morning. So um, we, we decided to, to not join any under 23. They had a game tomorrow, uh, yesterday. So. So the options were numbers. Were numbers and, uh, but now we're going to recover some players from AFCON also. We have to, to wait to, to the next games to see who stays and who, who, who comes out. Um, I say, uh, what I'm focused now is try to understand why, why, what happened. 
look at the game and uh, try to minimize mistakes because they are costing us um, tough moments. And just one more, you know what? <laughs> you know this question's coming, I'm sure. Um, two days left of, of the transfer window. Um, do you think you'll have new faces in the building by the time you, you go to, to Bournemouth? No, we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. Yeah, today and, and tomorrow is still possible. Uh, let's wait and see. I cannot. I cannot tell you too much. Today was uh, was match day, and when it's match day, we are only focused on on the team and on the boys and what we have to do in the game.